you know, one friend works on a farm. He's an avid bow hunter. The guy is just always, always moving. Every possible thing happens to the guy because he can, I mean, he'll get run over by a tractor one day. <laughs> he'll, you know, get rabies another day. And I'm not exaggerating. Like the dude, everything happens to him. Um, and he did something to his arm where they wanted him to immobilize his arm. And he was like, well, screw that. I'm not immobilizing my arm. You know, so he, he, he let it be immobilized for a short amount of time. And then he was back in the gym in like a day and he was supposed to be in this. And his recovery was almost miraculous with how fast, right? Compare that to another friend that had an injury with his leg and he'd followed everything that was, you know, he kept it immobilized. It was, recovery was, it, it was a less significant injury than the gentleman that had the arm injury and his recovery. It, so I have had this theory in my mind that it's like maybe, you know, he's also a heavily muscled person. He was moving. He probably had these myokines, these exerkines that actually helped potentiate the stem cells more. All of this, I'm speculating, you know, full disclaimer, right? This is speculation on my end, but I've seen this. I'm like, okay, he moved, he moved this large body of mass. Was it affecting his stem cells? Was it affecting his recovery and his repair? I'm inclined to think so, but who knows? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right on target. In fact, everything points to the the reality that your health and your ability to combat acquired problems like age-related frailty, things like that, is dependent upon how many healthy stem cells you can muster to respond to the natural processes and to any emergency. So it's funny, you know, you... Um, you mentioned the fact that that your buddy went from being immobilized and saying, I'm not going to do that, to, be, to being very mobile. 